This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All content is meant for educational purpose only. Hello, how hackers and security enthusiasts. Welcome back to SpectreSec World. In this video, we'll dive deep into Core's vulnerabilities, understand how they work, and learn step-by-step -step how to exploit them using a real-world example. We'll also cover the best practices to prevent these vulnerabilities. So grab your coffee and stay tuned. What is Cores? To understand Cores vulnerabilities, let's first look at what Cores stands for. Cross-origin resource sharing. It's a security feature implemented in browsers to control how resources are shared between different origins. Normally, the same origin policy restricts how one origin can interact with another. However, with cores, servers can explicitly allow certain domains to access their resources. For example, imagine a website on example.com fetching data from api.example.com. Course headers control whether this request is allowed. But when misconfigured, it opens up a serious vulnerability where an attacker's domain can access sensitive data from a victim's session. How Core's Vulnerabilities Occur Core's vulnerabilities typically occur due to misconfigured response headers. Here are common examples. Allowing all origins using access control allow origins str. This is dangerous because any domain can access sensitive data. Reflecting user input in the access control allow origin header without proper validation. Misconfigurations involving credentials. Using access control allow credentials true along with a wildcard origin star is a critical flaw. These configurations make it easier for attackers to steal data or perform actions on behalf of a user. Now, let's see a real-world example of how a core's vulnerability can be exploited. I've set up a vulnerable demo application to show you how this works. Welcome to an advanced walkthrough for hunting core's vulnerabilities in a real-world bug bounty target. This video is not just about finding bugs. It's about mastering techniques that separate beginners from professionals. Let's get started. Our journey begins with scope selection. I've chosen a target from YesWeHack's disclosed scope. Always carefully read the scope and policies to ensure ethical boundaries. Here, I've copied all domains and subdomains listed under the scope. Using a domain extractor, I quickly filter and save all domains into a file named target.txt. But hold on, don't miss wildcard domains. I've identified and manually added a missing wildcard domain. Now we have a comprehensive list of targets to analyze. Next, I scan for subdomains using Subfinder, a lightweight and efficient subdomain enumeration tool. After running a simple command, we've collected 211 subdomains to test for cores vulnerabilities. Not every subdomain is active or functional. Using the powerful HTTPX toolkit, I filter for alive domains. This ensures we're targeting only subdomains that are currently operational. The output is saved in a live.txt, and now we have a refined list of valid targets. To go deeper, we extract URLs from the alive subdomains. For this, I use Katana, a robust URL extraction tool. The output is saved in urls.txt. At this stage, we have a rich dataset of endpoints to test further.
find cores misconfigurations. I use multiple tools to cross-check and confirm potential vulnerabilities. CoreZ, Core Scanner, and even my custom-built script designed for lightning-fast cores detection. My script is highly optimized and will be shared exclusively on Telegram for the community. As a bonus, I recommend SpectreSec Cores. It's incredibly fast and efficient, outpacing other tools and identifying cores misconfigurations. Automation is great, but manual testing is crucial to confirm vulnerabilities. Using tools like CodeHappy.com, I test each endpoint manually to validate results. Here we can see an endpoint vulnerable to cores with the wildcard origin. is key. To eliminate false positives, I use a curl command with custom headers to simulate requests from a malicious origin. As you can see, the target confirms the vulnerability by allowing the malicious origin to access sensitive data. With the vulnerability confirmed, let's move to exploitation. The goal is to steal sensitive data from the target using a malicious web server. I execute a pre-made exploitation script to demonstrate the process. Once the victim accesses a malicious HTML file hosted on our server, their data is exfiltrated successfully. This showcases the critical impact of Core's misconfigurations.
with their nails done now. 